Hello, my name is Omer. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Autonets. Autonets uh, is, uh, is a three-year-old company uh, that uh, offers engagement monetization solutions. So from whatever you're going to hear from me in the next 10 minutes, I want you to remember just three important things. Autonets would help impact your customer journey and experience using data, interaction, and gamification. Uh, through engagement, we help you uh, sell 24-7 to your customers. So we get you more traffic to your store, both online and offline, uh, kind of like an offline to online uh, system, an omnichannel platform. And third, um, using our system, storefronts will now work. All right? Uh, I don't, if I don't do that, he, he, he does these weird gestures to me. Um, storefront would work 24-7, just like your website. So I'm going to start with maybe a few user stories just to um, kind of illustrate some of our features and capabilities. And the first one is uh, about using facial expressions and, and, and emotion as triggers. So imagine you walking by a storefront um, that noticed that you're there and it prompts you to smile to try on a new dress or a new outfit. And when you smile, you see yourself life-sized on the storefront window uh, wearing that new outfit. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, we use AI to offer uh, personal, personalization and con contextualization in the physical space. And notice that this kind of weird uh, example, my camera is right here. So it's not really set out properly, but I would go back here. All right, I'll try to, to stay in one place. Um, we use AI to understand in, in real time who's looking at our displays and how to show them relevant content. So imagine um, I'm passing by Walgreens and the, 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 the video ad on the, on, the, on the store changes to men's razors. And if, uh, I don't know, if um, Alexandra here will walk by, she might see women's razors or makeup. Um, you know, but it goes even further than that. We can be really, really flexible. So is that, okay. I'll, sh I'll try to remember that. Um, using AI and using contextualization help us more than just show, you know, uh, men's, uh, men's razors or women's, women's razors. Maybe if I'm going with my wife, I would see uh, a buy one, get one special. Or if I'm within my entire family, it would be a discount on a family pack. You can be really spontaneous in what kind of content and how kind of, what kind of experience you offer um, customers in the physical space using this um, technology. Lastly, gamification. So we use gamification for a lot of things. One is to initiate engagement, right? If someone passed by the display or our storefront and they don't pay attention, maybe we'll have this uh, uh, personification of the brand knocking on the glass, calling them up and, and to, to pay attention. Uh, but really the engagement aspect is to create a conversation with people. So, it, so imagine you walking by a jewelry store. The, the first store that we've done was a diamond shop. Uh, you imagine you're passing by a jewelry store and uh, you see yourself in life size in the window and there's a rain of wedding rings falling on your head and it bounces off of your body. Just by engaging this uh, storefront, you become a brand ambassador. You, 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 you become, become a performer for that brand. So I'm going to try and do the same just by engaging this display here and, uh, right, done. To move on to the next. So um, who are we? We are, uh, as I said, three-year-old company, Israeli founders based in New York with offices in Tel Aviv, in uh, Eastern Europe, and, um, and in Manhattan. Um, our mission is to converge the physical and digital spaces together, and I think I just skipped a few. Um, we, you know, we, we want to change the language of marketing, the way the brands communicate with people, instead of making it uh, more of a monologue to turn it into, into a dialogue, into a conversation. We understand who is talking to us. We can respond to him in, 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 a, in a smart way. We understand how they feel about what we just said. We can, again, we can change the message and, uh, and respond. And how does this work? Well, it's actually pretty, pretty simple. Uh, just a camera and, uh, and a computer. The camera is the input. It helps us understand the user interactions, to understand um, the, the, the user's sentiments, their, their demographics, their interests, their dwell time, and a lot of different metrics. And according to that, we, we respond. We started by digitizing storefronts. We had a, a really, thank you, to, we had a cool material similar to that that helped us uh, to, 
turn on the, the, the glass to activate into a screen. But since then, we are proud to say that we are completely display agnostic. We are now can activate uh, shelf displays in supermarkets, ceiling displays, video wall TVs, or even giant LED screens um, within that space. So I said that we use a camera in the public space. I, I said that, right? Uh, having said that, we don't use, uh, we, we are privacy compliant. We care about your privacy. We don't record any videos. We don't take any pictures. We don't stream anything to the cloud. We analyze everything in real time. Uh, we aggregate the data back to the cloud so you can learn from it afterwards, but we also use it to show the right content to the right person. We have a really cool centralized CMS that allows you to manage all of your systems, all of your content, any content that you can dream of can work on this system. Think about the, the only difference in our interface between your, um, your mobile experiences or your web. Well, one of the big differences is, is the interface. Instead of a keyboard and a mouse, we use your whole body, your facial expressions, your uh, demographics, your, you, can, you can high five a virtual uh, salesperson or, or you, can, uh, uh, you can engage people physically, which I think is a, a lot um, more memorable, easy to remember. Um, so maybe just to highlight some of the value proposition um, to you. Um, detail analytics, so we understand everything, not just about the performance of the location, but also on the performance of an experience. So maybe you had this uh, idea in your mind that this particular message uh, is going to resonate a lot for uh, 20 to 30 year old kids, and then you realize you know, these people really ignore it, but the 40 plus uh, are really responding well to this. Maybe you're Victoria's Secret and your customers are women, but only men drool over your content, and you realize, oh, I'm kind of hitting the wrong demographics with that particular content. Um, we are extremely, um, extremely accurate in the way that we, that we report um, on intent. So, right, so mostly online engagement would be if someone looked at the content for three seconds and up, we actually report intentional interaction. If we ask you to smile to learn more, or if we ask you to high five a virtual service person, or whatever it is, the, the, the action that, that, that is uh, required of you, this is an intentional interaction, an intentional um, communication that you've done with the brain. Um, as I said, uh, Drive to engage with gamification. Gamification really just help us turn everything into play. Everything into something fun and amusing and, and, and conversive rather than just showing you what to buy, what to think, and, uh, and what to do. So we, we put a lot of emphasis on initiate the engagement, uh, but also on really creating, trying to create a conversation. So the, the, the outcome of our system can be either educational, we're going to teach you something. It can be maybe uh, uh, transactional, we want to sell you something. Um, you know, or it can be social. Social not just in a sense of, of, of sharing something to social media, but social in a sense of maybe getting two strangers communicate to each other. Maybe I'm standing ne next to this uh, store and me and a stranger see uh, thought bubbles over our head, creating a banter conversation uh, between us. I think one of the biggest value that brand brands bring customers is creating opportunities for them you know, to engage and, and to meet each other. So it's not necessarily all about the brand, it's a lot about the communication that happens um, in between. Um, Last point that I want to make is, as I said, 24-7 shopping. I started this company when I wanted to buy shoes at, at, at uh, 12 o'clock at night in Tel Aviv. And I'm, I'm size 13, I couldn't find anything uh, you know, that was available. But then there was a pair of shoes in the store window that I wanted to get. And I thought, you know, there's only a few inches separating me and the shoes that I want. Why can't I just get them? Why is window shopping has to be such a broke term? So 24-7 operations um, available now. You you engage physically when you want to add to cart, when you want to check out, you just scan the code uh, and you move on. So I see it already went to the first uh, case study with, uh, with Moy Tennessee. So this is uh, Grand Central, Manhattan. This woman on display asks you to come close and to wave your hand in front of the screen to unwrap a gift um, and get your discount. Um, we captured over 100,000 uh, emails addresses of, of passers-by. We su successfully ignored anyone under 21. So if you're under 21, she would keep inviting other people and completely ignore you. Uh, but you're in the right drinking age. She will uh, in encourage you to participate, leave your email, and get your 20% discount on champagne. Um, we had a pretty massive engagements, engagement level over there. Um, this is Kiehl's. Everyone knows Kiehl's. It's one of L'Oreal's brands. I think uh, men's 
face creams. Um, it's, they had a pop-up on so it's in, in so downtown. They wanted to get people inside the store. They wanted people to engage with the brand to understand who they are and what they're about. Uh, it was a very quick, we only had about three days to prepare this experience, and it was a very quick photo booth. Uh, there, was, it, there was snow sticking to your face, falling on your head. When the display recognized you looking at it, it offered you to scan the code, look up and smile. It sent you your photo from that store with the whole day animation, with the store's address, and when you shared it, uh, well, Kills Canada gave you a discount, Kills US gave you a thank you. Um, so the, the brands um, are, it's, it's completely out to them, it's an open-end story, they can decide what the outcome would be, um, even at a global um, scale. By the way, this, was, this had about 4.25% engagement. If you know anybody, anything about click-through rates, engagement rates, uh, Facebook has about 1% to 2% engagement, and Google, their visual media, visual rich media ads, they, those get about 0.3 uh, to 1%. Um, our average is between four, between four to eight percent, and we don't have any bots, click farms, or any spam um, or fraud on our system. Uh, this is a, um, a vacant store, a vacant real estate um, property, losing about $120,000 a month on rent, and it, that was vacant for about two years. This is like two or three million dollars of lost, uh, lost money. Um, what we did there was very simple. We just did an interactive survey, we're asking you what's missing in your neighborhood. What should go into this vacant store? All you did is raise your hand um, and chose the right um, what was right to you. We had thousands of people participating. We understood, you know, how to um, get a better and and, and faster um, tenant selection. How to prioritize our leads. We generated new leads and we got the space leased with under two months. We repeated it eight more times with the with with Cushman and they became our biggest customer. And we just signed our first major. Um, commercial agreements with them a couple of months ago. Oh, now I need to smile. Well, let me try. I did not smile hard enough. Did it move? I don't want. I don't want to see it. No. All right. Then my smile is not genuine. Oh, I see that we don't have internet. Wonderful. Okay. So. Uh, part of the demo was to smile to move on to the next to the next slide, which would then show you different content based on your demographics, and I would invite you, you know, to come to the stage and show the camera to you. And um, however, uh, without internet, that that thing is not working. Um, so maybe we'll go to your questions if you have any. Thank you, Omer. That was fantastic. Questions for Omer? Awesome. Hi, so this looks like a really cool piece of technology, but you said that you could tell between demographics, like you said you only motion to people who are 21 plus. How do you differentiate between demographics like that that might be difficult to see in a camera? Hmm. Uh, well, we, we have our own proprietary data sets that we created, so we can train our neural networks to, to differentiate ages, genders, and uh, a bunch of other metrics that we won't get into. Um, so we, and we do that pretty well. We also, because we didn't use any of the um, existing databases that, that are online, like, um, I don't know, Tinder photos or, or Facebook photos, we're able to get uh, much better results when it's street level and you have 300,000 people passing by and, and, and people are not sitting too, you know, Two, two feet away from the camera in steady light and looking all perfect directly through the camera. Um, so we are able to, uh, to deal with a lot of uh, variables and a lot of different changing conditions by using our own proprietary um, machine learning algorithms, um, neural networks, and most importantly, data sets that we train it for. Awesome. Other questions? Yeah. Yeah, just a follow-up. Um, what's the... Uh, What's the uh, accuracy rate for that? Um, like I, detecting uh, whether, um, based on the uh, facial recognition, that someone is um, over or under 21? Um, can you repeat that? He's, he's basically just asking what the accuracy is for accurately identifying someone's demographic information. Well, we, we're about uh, close to 90% today. Uh, we hope within a year would be closer to 98%. 
It's just a matter of deployments because our um, a system learns from every node that, um, that is added to the system. The more location that we activate, the, the smarter it gets, kind of like a muscle. Awesome. Yep. I know a lot of people are concerned about privacy nowadays, and uh, you had mentioned that you know you you don't uh, store or stream any uh, any photos, which is I think the correct choice. But um, I'm sure people are also concerned about law enforcement and other groups co-opting the technology. Uh, how do you uh, how do you prevent against that? So I'll start with that. We are GDPR compliant, the General Data Protection Regulations. We are we are compliant. We work with uh, with Procter and Gamble. We work with Lufthansa. We work with Cushman Wakefield companies that would never ever uh, let you get away with any kind of privacy violation. Um, doing a, doing a GDPR analysis by uh, Lufthansa, it feels like, you know what, we recorded, so I'm not gonna tell you what it feels like, but you, you can imagine <laughs> that it was painful and, and, and yeah, wasn't very lubricated. Uh, you, the, way that we, the, way, the, the way that we look at it is um, we don't allow any access from the web to any of our cameras. So, you know, if the, if the FBI want to use it, by the way, I'm not sure why you should be concerned if the FBI, want to, the FBI or, or some law enforcement want to use it, but, you know, if the, there's no way today, the way that the system is being um, um, designed for people to, to reach out through the internet to, um, to these end devices. Uh, it's just not possible. Yeah. We hope we, 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 we considered it up front. We knew that there were going to be pushback when we put cameras in public spaces. And it wasn't just to give you benefits, right? We, wanted, we, want, we want to have the data. But as, as focused on, on mostly on marketing and communication, we care less about your private, like your personal name and your picture. We care more about what kind of customer you are. You know, it, it, I'm, I'm very different than, than, uh, than, my, than my wife, and she's very, very different than my kids. And if either one of us is engaging any, any, any of my customers, right, any of these brands, you want to offer them something they care about. Just think about the, the, the first thing that you learned online. Increasing relevancy increases conversion. And we just want to make you when, you, when you walk down the street, we want everything to be interesting and, and to talk to you. Awesome. Omer, thank you so much for coming here to Hardwire tonight. Thank you.